I want to welcome to the show right now the legislative chair of the Buckeye Farms Association, Mr. Ken Hansen. Ken, good evening, sir. Good evening, Kim. Congratulations. The hey. uh, the the decision by the Ohio State Supreme Court today. This was uh, let's say so this was a lawsuit that was filed by BFA, uh, uh, funded in part by uh, NRA, against the city of Cleveland, who were trying to enforce. Uh, 19 different local gun control ordinances, is that right? Right. This decision came actually out of the, out of the Common Pleas Court after the Ohio Supreme Court uh, upheld our preemption provision. This is a suit that uh, Buckeye Firearms Foundation filed against the city of Cleveland, uh, their police uh, chief, uh, judges, you know, various enforcement authorities seeking an order to prohibit Cleveland from enforcing uh, these local ordinances, a total of 19 ordinances. And it was pretty much everything that's been on the gun control buffet since the 1990s, whether you're talking uh, handgun registration, owner ID cards, you know, assault weapon bans, uh, dealer restrictions, prohibited places where you can't possess firearms, attempting to, you know, keep guns out of parks, out of public spaces, all all the gamut of everything that the uh, the anti-gun wish list has been for the last 20 years. Uh, were, were covered within these uh, these 19 ordinances. Wow. All right. Well, I mean, th- this is fantastic news. As I understand it, you know, at the at the onset of this lawsuit, the uh, the the law director for the city of Cleveland basically uh, dismissed this case. Said, ah, this is this isn't even serious. Yeah. Right. I, I believe he called it a, a PR stunt more than a, a legal uh, maneuver. I think were his exact words that were quoted in, in the uh, Plain Dealer. And, uh, you know, his failure to, uh, you know, appropriately and accurately uh, evaluate the suit, I think, is, is going to come back and haunt him because now, you know, under our preemption provision, there's a mandatory attorney fee provision. So these same people are going to have to go to their own taxpayers and say, uh, you know, we were wrong and it's costing you, the taxpayers, money because we were wrong. Wow. Wow. You know, and this has been... I know this has been a, a an issue for several years. Ken, do you really expect the? Uh, I, I guess they don't have a choice now. I mean, we've got to hope that the mayor uh, finally gets it that he can't keep trying to you know use these local gun control uh, ordinances to to go after the law abiding gun owners in Cleveland. Yeah, I, I guess to their credit, and, and credit's kind of a generous word, but to their <laughs> credit, uh, Ohio passed preemption in two thousand and six, and here we are halfway through two thousand and eleven, and and they're just finally getting around to a court issuing an order shutting down uh, enforcement of these local gun control provisions. So they've definitely, you know, drug it along as far as they can, uh, kicking and screaming. But that this, if it's not the absolute end, it's certainly got to be well beyond the beginning of the end for them. There's just no arguments left to be made, and they're going to have to face up to the fact that the cities in Ohio are out of the gun control business. All right, now this is not quite over yet, because I understand there's a hearing coming up in July uh, talking about attorney's fees, right? Right. The first week of July, the court set for a hearing on uh, Buckeye Firearm Foundation's uh, attorney fees award because, again, part of our statute is mandatory attorney fees uh, if you prevail against the city. And that, that provision's already been upheld by the Ohio Supreme Court, so that hearing really should just be a matter of making the determination of uh, what the attorney fee award is going to be and not really any argument about whether it should or shouldn't be awarded. Okay. Well, Ken, congratulations again. A, a big victory for gun owners across the state of Ohio, and particularly those who uh, uh, live in the Cleveland area. I know this is big news, and I'm glad you could be with us on the show tonight. Well, thank you for having me. My pleasure. Ken Hanson, the legislative chair for the Buckeye Firearms Association, joining us here on CAM and Company.